Hi, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set the CVS Essentials settings for the room size as well as if it's a mirrored room or not. I'm going to go over some other things too. This is not meant to be a full tutorial. I'm doing this ab living it as I go, no script. So um, I'm going to go over the remote control first because you have to understand the remote control briefly before you can understand how the settings are changed. But if you've done things like this before, it'll become second nature to you as soon as you see the menus and work with the buttons on the remote control. So the first thing we're going to do is go over the remote control and we'll go over the major buttons right here. This button right here on the left side, that's the main power button. Okay. You hold it down for five seconds, that'll turn off the CVS unit. Press it and hold it down for one second and let go, that'll turn it on. This button right here says RG. What that does is that puts a red green slide over every slide. So you can have a red green image to do your acuities, your refractions. The next button down has the left arrow rewind button on it. That one right there. And what that does is, that allows you to return back to the previous menu. With the CVS Essentials, you don't have a button for every menu, like you do with the CVS units. The Essentials, you have to go back and select the chart you want, change the, change the chart you want. And you do that by quickly hitting that and going back and then selecting it. And I'm going to get the next one over here on the right side, which is that one right there. And what that does is that allows you to randomize the screen. So if you want to, any chart can be randomized. You just hit it again and again and again and it randomizes it. It doesn't matter whether it's a single letter, a single line, a vertical line, or multiple lines. You hit that, it randomizes the whole screen. Now, this disc is like your remote control on your television. There's a top at 12, there's one at 6, there's one at three o'clock and one at nine o'clock and when you hit that that allows you to move up and down in the menus by hitting the one at twelve o'clock and the one at six o'clock so what that does is that allows you to move up and down the menus then the ones at three o'clock and nine o'clock here and here allow you to change the value or go from left to right in those menus. And then the center one, the dot in the middle, is like OK or select that particular function. So that's what that does. Confirm that particular function or go into that function. Okay, so that takes care of the top half of the remote. Now the other buttons that are down here, the E, for E game, for Snellen, that gives you all E's on the um, screen. The next one down, number, that will show you numbers on the screen if you want numbers to be displayed. And let's go over here to that one right there. That's the um, C chart, Landalt C chart. And this one over here is the K, which means um, regular alphabet chart. Regular alphabet chart. That's the one you'll use the most. Alphabet chart. And then if you go over and look at this one right here, that one is the single character. Say that one right there. I've already done number. Oh, okay. And we did the land out C. We did the alphabet. That is contrast right there. That gives you the contrast test. And that's explained to you in the manual. I'm not going to go through that one on the video. And then this one right here is the birthday cake for kids' charts, child charts, birthday cakes, Jeeps, and so on. These on the bottom give you these how you want to display single letter, single line, or vertical line. That would be single letter, horizontal line, or vertical line for the three on the bottom. So that takes care of the um, 
remote control as far as the functions are concerned. Okay, that takes care of everything on there. So now we come in and we're going to get the chart. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so there you have chart, video, music, and gallery. The only ones you're going to need to concern about that this video is going to concentrate on is the um, chart, because that's where you go in and select the settings. So I'm going to move the right hand side of the remote control, you know, the, the, the 3 o'clock position. The 9 o'clock takes me back, just like that. So we're going to go to the chart, and we're going to enter in by hitting the center of the button. That's that confirm or OK button, this one in the center. And that's going to get me into there. Now this is where we have all the different um, selections and settings. So we have V chart here. We have standard chart, fixed chart, color test, clock dial, worth four dot, cross cylinders, all these different tests are here. But in order for you to, to use any of these, you have to go to settings first. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to go down, and then we're going to go across to settings. And you see that highlights over there in settings. See how we did that? I hope that shows up. I think it will. I think it will show up better if I do this. Let's see if that works better. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, so down, 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 and then to the right, to the right. Then we're going to enter into settings. Now here, you have on the side, you have, zoom in here. left unit, right unit, snell and feet. That can be changed. The distance, a minus. You can see we are set for 18 feet and there's a plus there and there's a minus over here. Plus there and a minus over here. Okay, let me zoom back out. And down here, I'm just going to scroll down over here. Every time show settings first. I think you can see that, but I'm going to zoom in on it. I didn't think I was going to require this much zooming. Enter V alphabet directly. Enable mirror. So if you're using a mirror system, that has to be checked. So to show you how this works, we're going to come down here to an to enable mirror. So I'm going the up, down, and I'm going to hit the center button. You see that'll put a check mark, a blue check mark, in enable mirror. So if you're using this in a mirror system, that will flip the chart reverse so that the patient viewing it in the viewing mirror will see it correctly. So that must be used if you're using a mirror system. To uncheck it, just press the center button again. So that's a toggle. On, off, on, off. Okay? And then um, we're going to go to um, Show an arrow. If you want to show an arrow on the, um, on the single line, you can click that and it will show an arrow and you can move the left and right across the 3 o'clock and the 9 o'clock position and show each letter on one line if you want to do that. Most people don't do that anymore though, but it's there if you want it. Okay, so now what do we do? We have to go back up and we have to set the, the, the distance. That's what this tutorial is mainly about. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back up here when you get the unit, you're going to go into the very first one that says Snell and Feet. You're going to click into it by hitting the center button. And you see you have all these different things. Five grade, decimal, logmar, minimum angle, Snell and Feet, Snell and Metric, and Null. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into Snell and Feet and highlight that. Hit the center button. Now it will be locked in. You're going to do the same thing for the right unit. You're going to go over here and you're going to go and you're going to select Snell and Feet. Now the distance. If this is a straight shot, you measure from the patient's eye to the screen, whatever that is. As you can see right now, this is set to light. You can see it's set for 18 feet. So, how do we change it? Okay. We change it by doing this. Come down. Went too far. And you can see it went to the plus. So, if we want to go minus, let's say we want to go less than 18 feet. Oh, by the way, over here on the right, it's set for feet. Your, your choices are meter 
and feet. So make sure you're on feet. And then enter into that. Now you're going to go back and you're going to use the plus and the minus. So now we're going to go over here. We're just, use, we're just going to go across this line by hitting the 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock position. So now minus. So I'm going to click minus. I'm going to enter into that. And as I press the center button, you can see it drop down in feet as I press the center button. And it's done in tenths of a foot every time. So now we're at 14 feet, 14.6, so on. Now, the only way you can go up, you're going to have to scroll over, move it over to the right side, hit that plus. So we're going to go out and we're going to go from the minus by hitting the 3 o'clock position to plus. Now, if I go into that, I'll try to keep them both highlighted here at once. I'm going to hit the, you'll see it, we're going to be going up in feet because the blue is highlighted. You see it gets deeper blue as I hit the center button there, the center round disc in the middle, the confirm button or the OK button. So we're going to ski this. So let's say you have uh, 17 feet. Let's say you have 17 feet. So now we're going to go back over to the minus, and then we're going to go into that. We're going to go down until we hit 17 feet. Well, went too far. Okay, so we're going to go across, up, 17 feet right there. That's how you set it. Now, if you're going in a mirror system, this is for a direct shot. The distance is set the same. So, but to measure a mirror system, you set down in the patient's chair, and you measure from the patient's eye to the viewing mirror, whatever that distance is. Let's say that's 8 feet. Then you measure from wall to wall, from the screen to this, from the screen, from the, um, from the mirror that's on the front wall to this screen which is located behind the patient on the back wall. You measure that distance. Let's say that's 11 feet. Then you add the two together. The one that was from the patient's eye to the front viewing mirror on the front wall. That was 8 feet. And then you measured the distance between the front viewing mirror and this screen which is located behind the patient. That was 11 feet. You add those two together, that would be 19 feet. So then you've got to go and you've got to come and you've got to select the plus over here and enter, hit the center button, and we need to go up to 19 feet. Right there. Now you're set to go, except not because you still have to mirror it. So we're going to go, we're going to go over here, down, 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 and go enter in by hitting that center round button, enter mirror. Now you're done. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go back out by using the rewind button, the, up, the one that goes to the left, on the left side of the remote control, and you're going to go back to chart. Now when we go back into chart and we select V chart, you have options here to select different letters you want to begin with. Let's just choose alphabet. Now, as you notice, it's reversed and it is automatically set for the 19 feet mirrored distance. Okay? Now to show you, let's say we need it, you don't want to go back, you want to go out of mirror, you want to go back to a direct shot. So now you go back to that rewind button that's in the upper left hand corner there, the remote control, and you go back, and you go back to chart, you enter into chart, you scroll down, by hitting the down button, the 6 o'clock button, and go over to settings, Enter into settings. Now we won't we won't want a mirror. Okay, so what we're gonna do is is we're gonna go back into here. Down, 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 down. So that's highlighted, and we're gonna remove the check mark on enable mirror. And let's say you're back to a straight shot for this system, for this exam room. We're gonna go back up and we're gonna come across and we're gonna change this distance. Let's say it's 14 feet. We're on the minus, because that's highlighted in blue, and we're going to go to 14 feet. Hit the center button, the center round disc button, down to 14 feet. And there you are, 14 feet direct shot. When you're done, you just hit the back return button. It's the one in the upper left hand corner with the circle arrow on it. Go back, go back. Now you're back in. Now you're going to see. When we come back to this chart, won't be mirrored and the units will be smaller. Alphabet and boom. Now you're not mirrored and you're smaller. Remember what I said about randomizing? That's the that's the
that's the tighter arrow on the right hand side that will randomize every chart every time okay so that's how that is done and again single letter single line or vertical line randomize it sure hit randomize want to change it to numbers just hit the numbers you want to change it back to e-game hit that you want to go back to the V go back to the regular Snellen chart you go back and you're right back there that's hitting that left rewind button will take you back to the previous screen that you're on and you want to look at the kids game there's the kids game also so that's how you do it if you want to turn it off it's five seconds on the power button two three four five let go it'll turn off and then to bring it back on it's one second to the power button and let go and it'll come back on just like that so there's no problem uh, with any of those functions you just once you play around with it it will become sort of naturally to you if you've never done it before it'll be a little more difficult if you've done stuff like this before it'll become second nature so that's basically all there is to it uh, for sizing the unit um,